Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jack, and today we are going to be talking about something I haven't really been talking about. And you guys are going to love this. Also, this is spoilers. This is spoilers. If you don't want to see spoilers, then you don't have to watch this movie, but episode, sorry. But if you do want to if you want, if you don't care, you can go ahead and still watch. So we are talking about Minecraft. The next update has been announced by Minecon Live 2020. Um, it has been announced on December 20 on no October 3rd, 2020, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. I've been watching it for about two hours, and I finally see what is coming for the next update. I'm about to announce it right now, so if you guys want to see it, it's the, if you guys want to hear it, first, before you do it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and so you never miss one of these videos ever again, and, and keep, keep in touch, because um, next year will be, I'll tell you, release day for everything. Alright, so the update is... Caves and Cliffs update. Yes, the cliffs are getting an update too. Oh, baby. This is going to be cool. So, before we talk about the cliffs, let's talk about the caves. Because there's a lot of things coming. And like a lot. So, the first thing is new biomes. Also, in the live stream, they showed us all the mods and then the kitty died. Prayers for the key. Anyways... So the first thing we, we were about to see is the new biome for the caves. And that's the lush biome, the lush caves biome. And it's actually, there's a way to find it. The way to find it is to find a weird looking tree with kind of like blueberries. Then you can go ahead and go all the way down, mine a hole down and you'll find the lush cave. And it's like a jungle kind of it's like a jungle kind of biome, home with like leaves and green stuff all over the place. It looks living. <laughs> so uh, there, there's also some plans in in the Minecon lot. There's actually plants um, up there, and you can um, if they drop like particles, and you can actually eat them if you want. Huh? And there's also a new mob coming, but I'll say that to the very end, until the very end. And then I'll tell you the new mobs. So, that's the Lush Caves, and it, it's not that big, but it's really cool. But there's another new biome. Before I say the new biome, we're going to talk about the, the mob vote for this year. And that is the three new mobs that might be coming, and I know who the winner is. It's, and I'm very mad about it, but that's a clue. I'm going to say that at the very end, along with all the mobs. So, the first one is the Mooshroom, like a, from Minecraft Earth, there's like a, from, if you play Minecraft Earth, there's like a, a yellow cow with flowers on him, that's one of the votes. The other one is also probably, a lot of people say it's from Minecraft Earth, and that's a glow squid. And the other one is the Isologer, which is from Minecraft Dungeons, but he's not actually called the Isologer. Anyways, but he does the same mechanic. So, there is a winner, and um, we will say at the very end. Also, I want to say real quick, before we move on to another thing, I want to talk about the Cliffs update. What is going to, what are they on the update for the Cliffs, huh? What are they on the update? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. They are adding goats. Last year's mine convo was the mountains, and, and the mountains won the vote of Savannah and Swamp. I, re I voted, I probably voted for the Swamp, but uh, unfortunately the mountains won, which is raging. But now we're getting new goats, which I'm really happy. There will be a part of the Cliffs update, okay? and as well as, um, as well as some new, bigger mountains. And there's a new snow block, and it looks kind of like a snow block, but if you or a mob hits in it, you will fall right through it, which is like a trap, trap, um, uh, a trap block. It's really cool. Alright, so enough of the, that's all for the cliffs. Not too much about the cliffs, but at least we're getting goats. Bah.
that that that's a sheep. Anyways, let's go. So, um, there's actually another biome. There's four biome, and there's another one, and it's called the dripstone caves biome. The dripstone. Remember, in normal caves, there's like grow like spikes. You definitely knew it's coming, but it, there's a lot in one biome. Also, before we before we talk about that, there's also another new thing coming for the new ones, and that is like a. You can actually go like get a light and you can fly around. There's water. There's spikes all over the place. It's like a big like uh, bl- big caves. There's a lot of big caves. It's not coming everywhere. No, I don't think so. And the reason why I don't think it's everywhere is because of the lush bombs. They're really small. The drip caves are really big, but the the lush caves are really small. And then it, you can just go straight into a small little biome. That doesn't make sense. So it won't all be, the, um, this is just a theory, but it won't all, I don't think it will all be, I didn't really hear that much, but I, th- I don't think it will all be big, um, just a, a little bit of it. Anyway, so the Drip Zone Cave Bar, it has a lot of spikes, it's big, and no new mobs, a little bit of water, and if you put cold drip under the drip stone, it will, ma- it will fill up with water, and... If you step it on the cave, if you step on, um, if you step on the, um, if you step on the spikes, you will, um, you will die. Well, you, you won't die. You'll just get hurt. Oop. Anyways, so yeah, that's the trim sum up. The next biome is really, really deep down. It's like the deepest, and it has a mob too. And it's, I don't know what, it had, it doesn't show that much about it. Maybe in the maybe in like twenty twenty one, hun, there'll be a live stream for that. Spoilers of that or release date. I won't tell the release date, anyway, but yeah. Anyways, let's continue. So yeah, um, that not too much about it, but there's a new block. It's like a new redstone block, and it could t- it it could text your foot, and then res- it takes it to another redstone signal and goes all the way. Here's a fun fact. Um, if here's a thing that they did in Minecraft Live. If you put your step right next to it, it will go back to another one and then over and then they put firework dispenser there and it will blow up. Which is, I love it. I love you. I love you, Minecraft. This is amazing. I also also I have the new mall. That one, I will tell you what maybe it will be useful because I got a good idea. So Minecraft, if you're watching, Mojang, if you're watching this video, I got a special idea that might be cool, like the Phantom, maybe even cooler. Then people will really want the glow squid. And anyways, so there is a no, and that's one biome, and there's also a new mob. Before we talk about the other mob, let's talk about one more thing, and that's like a circle small like thing, biome thing. It's not that big. Also, that that biome that I talked about was big. Well, not that big, just like a corner or no edge. Anyways, so let's continue. All right, so the new biome is like uh, I don't know what's called, but it's like so beautiful. It has like purple blocks all over the place, and it makes it real like ding 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 cringy sound. And it has crystals on it and blocks that grows up. So you can actually pick up the crystals with your hand or a pickaxe or axe, anything other than a sword. Anyway, but you can't pick up the block. The block just stays there. You can't just pick it up and put it wherever you want in the world. It has to stay there. And if you see someone with the purple block, when it comes out, if you see someone with a purple block in your house, they cheated for that. They turned to creative and they cheated for that. So, yeah, I told them they cheated for that. Anyway, so the crystals can be picked up and they're actually crafted with something. Um, and that is a telescope. And you can actually see in my car live, someone's found a ravager with the telescope and he straight up ran away. You can't just put crystal there and then make the telescope. You need another thing. And that is a new ore. And I've been wanting this ore since Minecraft. Since I started like an ore. Since I started like mining. I really wanted this ore that, to, that I'm about to say. And I'm really excited. 
and I just screamed at when I saw him, and it is <laughs> copper. O M G, yes, copper. An orange ore is finally coming to Minecraft, which is amazing. So, what what are we talk about? Also, hi fish. Anyways, so what is this going to mean? So, uh, we are, so, uh, yeah, copper is like a thing where you can make a telescope, of course, and you could also make another item, which is a light rod. If your house is like wool and you don't want to burn it, it with the thunder, you can have a lightning rod to protect your house. You could put it at the very end of your house and you can protect your house using the light rod. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to... I'm going to make a light rod on my on my brother's house because my house is very high up. Luke, Luke's is not. My brother's is not. Also, go subscribe to Luke. Luke's Lucky Venture. He doesn't make that many videos, but he does have good ones. They're very cool looking. Yep. And so yeah, um, that's not it though. There's still more. And the copper can all if you leave the copper out for like weeks, like. Minecraft for weeks, you will it will turn into like blue blocks, which is really really neat. I really like that. So yeah, that's it about copper. I for now there might be more uses for copper. So let's talk about the new mobs. The first mob is at the deepest biome um, that we talked about earlier. And that is a mob called the Warden. And the Warden, well, from his name, Warden, he's a very scary mob. Uh, Minecraft has just gotten scary. I've been playing it for about four years, and my, I'm, I'm going to get scared of it. So, But it's about to be five. Anyways, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead. So, you'll know, you'll know if you found it, it's because you, it will, like, the lights will, everything will turn off and then turn back on. And whatever you do, do not walk. Just crouch. And get some snowballs with you, because that might be handy. Because this mob is very powerful. And the thing, the cool thing about this mob is that he's blind. He's blind and he cannot see. I can't even see. Anyways. So, this mob is blind. And he doesn't know where things are. So he doesn't know you're there, so he can't attack you. Only if he can take your foot, he will try to attack you. He's a hostile mob. So, if you throw a snowball, he'll go to the wall, and you can track him and get a new... There's a new structure, and that will might give you loot. I think this is a structure, and it might give you good loot. But if you he, if he hears your footsteps... Um, also, if you crouch in and you open the chest, you can't do it. But you can go ahead and stand up. Just don't move. Just don't make any footsteps. Just stand, crouch up, stand there, grab the eye, grab the loot, loot, crouch back down. And to distract him, you can throw another snowball. But if he kid takes, hits your foot, he's going to attack you. And he's a very scary mob. No jump scares, by the way. Not that scary. That will make Minecraft unplayable. Anyways, and he's really powerful. This guy that played it had full netherite on, and he got hit by two hits by him, and he's really cool. And he also has really good animation. If you want to go see him, go to Minecon Live, or just see some videos from, from the channel Minecraft. I'm subscribed to him. If you want to go see him, go to channels, um, go to my channel, Put, first of all, push the subscribe button, then go to the channels button, and you will see all the people I'm subscribed to. Creek Crab, have, have all those people. Looks Lucky Venture, too. And one of those are Minecraft, so go ahead and sus go to him, subscribe to him, and go see the videos, because they're really good looking. And yeah, so the other mob is the most cutest mob you can ever see. And I don't know what it's called, but it's really, really cute. It's pink, it's beautiful looking, and it's found in the lush biome. Um, and it's very cute. Um, and it will, it will, and it can help you attack guardians. You can, don't go, if you're, if you're playing Minecraft right now, don't go to the guardians temple yet. Wait for the update to come, then, and grab them. But here's the question. How are you going to grab them? 
Well, actually, you could get a bucket and you could pick it up inside the bucket and you could carry it around and you could put it out and he will help you attack guardians, which is good. So if you guys are playing the guardian things, if you're like doing guard, if you're like find guardians, um, don't go yet. Wait for the new update to come. Speaking of which, the new update is coming. It's about to be the end of the video. And we'll talk about something else. Maybe, no, maybe not. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about uh, when is it coming? When is it coming? And new mom. Also, about the new mom, um, the, the, moon, the cow is eliminated. That means we only have the ice allager and the glow squid left. And there's one winner, and I know who he is. And I'm very. And yeah. So. So the new update is coming in 2021 this summer. I'll probably be 11 by the time that happens. Because my birthday's on March 3rd. Um, but yeah, maybe once I turn 11, I'll do draw my life. That'll be fun. Um, I'm a, I know I'm a little too young. But if you guys give me a million subscribers, that'll be cool. But I only have 2,000. I only have 2,000 viewers and I only have 100 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe. Because you're, you're missing all kinds of stuff. Uh, anyways. So yeah, the new mob is the one, only, terrible decision, Glow Squid has officially been added. It's definitely coming, and it's really cool. Um, the Glow Squid is coming into Minecraft, which is amazing. So, I, so like I promised, like I promised, I said... And what, what I said what you should have. And I have a good one. So Minecraft, stay here for one more minute and I will tell you it. In 3, 2, 1. It is when you kill it. it remember if you kill like a, a normal squid um, and it'll drop it inside and you can make a black one. Well, this one is actually big blue, shiny beautiful. And if you kill it, it's going to be hard because it's so distractive. Um, you can actually kill it and get a glowing ink sack. And you can actually dye it into a glow, blue glowing dye. And you can actually like put on sheep and it'll glow like blue, beautiful blue. Or you can do like a collar on a dog and make it beautiful or, or a cat. That would be amazing. So if you, so if you, th if you think that's a good idea... Hit the like button if you think that's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. And it will also be a cool represent. And it's really shiny looking. And maybe if you look at it too much, it was so distractive. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, I said I had something after maybe. And that was it. Anyways, so if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.